this is how you attach a worksheet to Yahoo Finance. I'm going to do this for this worksheet called ALXN. Put your cursor in cell A1, go to the data tab, and get the data from web. A website comes up, you put in the URL that you would use to go to the ALXN Yahoo site, press go, and you're brought <coughs> the website of Alexon. So now we got to sele select, excuse me, what we want to put into the worksheet. I want the title, I want the earnings, I want the earnings history, EPS trends, and growth. Notice that every time I select an area that I get a green filled in box. Alright, so now I import it by selecting the import button. I let it default to location A1. There it is. That's linked dynamically to Yahoo. As long as that link remains viable, every time the worksheet is refreshed, it'll pull down the most recent data for the stock. Now, I want to put in historical data for this worksheet for Alexon. So again, I go to my next location, which is G1, and I select data from the web. I drop in the URL for Alexon, and uh, then I browse until I get to the historical prices link. I select the title, and I select a table of prices. And then I import, and I'm going to G1. I select OK, and you will see the historical prices for the stock have magically been downloaded into the worksheet. My last piece of information I need is the return on equity, and that happens to also come from the Yahoo site. So I select from web, pop in my Alexon link. I browse down here till I get to the key statistics. And I grab the title of the company and I grab the management effectiveness section. And I select import and I let it download. And there's the information. That's all there is to it.